Hello, today I wanted to take you on a tour of my schoolroom and show you some of the things that really help us. Um, now, I do want a little disclaimer. Um, our schoolroom is massive and I only have one student. I know not everybody has got a schoolroom this size. I've worked with more students in far smaller schoolrooms. It's really unnecessary to have one this big, but I just want to show you like some of the things that doesn't matter what size your schoolroom is, really worth having. I have just spent two and a half hours cleaning the schoolroom. Um, it was a bit of a mess after the holidays and it's not perfect now, but it's much better than what it was. So please excuse any mess that you see. It's clean, even if it's not like 100% tidy. So starting at this end, we have my desk and piano, which is awesome, but probably an unnecessary um, addition really, like if you've got a tiny screen, you certainly don't need a piano. Um, printer is a must. Good printer is absolute must when you uh, when you have your own school room. Uh, these are really, really handy too. These dice, um, different types of dice, really, really good. Great for maths games, times tables, yeah, fantastic. Uh, we have our spelling mastery there, and there's the last one which I need to return. Our sending bags. That actually right there, that is a dress up box. This is the most important thing that you have in a schoolroom, I reckon. A whiteboard. We have two. A decent sized whiteboard is really, really good. Um, next is we've got um, word walls. Word walls are really essential. So I've broken mine up into the parts of speech. I am missing pronouns. Pronouns fell off and I haven't seen it for a while. So pronouns might need um, putting back up again. Um, we have punctuation rules there. I think that was from the WWF from last year. It was really handy anyway. Uh, number walls, so just concepts that they're working on. So Isla's been doing a lot of fractions and decimals, so those are really handy. Second whiteboard. If we come back over here, we have Isla's desk with all of her start of school stuff. I was going to like unpack all of these and put them in a pencil case, and then I remembered it's kind of like the most fun thing at the start of the year, like unpacking all your stuff. So um, I'll let her do that. And we have our um, resources box for this year. My pens are on my desk. Um, we've got two desks here, so that is the one that I usually uses. This is a spare desk, which we use as a games table. Not an essential thing, but if you've got a spot to play games, use it. Um, it's great if you've got Monopoly, you can keep it set up, or a jigsaw puzzle, whatever. It's great to have somewhere to keep set up. Now, this is a really, really handy tool a meter ruler. It is, yeah, really, really good for getting kids to be able to visualize what a meter is and then see it broken down into um, centimeters and millimeters. Another very, very important thing for. A schoolroom is an extensive library. Um, it doesn't have to have like heaps of books, but you want a good variety. So here we've got the bad guys, which I highly recommend, especially for reluctant readers. Isla is a reluctant reader and she loves this series. They're hilarious. They're a lot of fun. I'm not a reluctant reader and I really enjoy them too. Um, here I've got... Um, these, these magazine holders for Isla's work, these are really good because you know that everything is just, it's there. When she needs something, she can just get up from her desk, come over here and grab it, you know where it is. Um, more books. And I've got books that like are well ahead, well far too advanced for her, but they're there, we talk about them, and she is exposed to all of these different types of books. And like these ones that are far too easy for her as well. So we've got a really good range. And then like here, you know, I mean, what school room isn't complete without a range of encyclopedias that nobody ever looks at? Um, you know, magazines, 
a wildlife fact file. Um, this is awesome. I have a really good atlas. Having a good atlas is great. I think we've got like three or four of them. Um, it's a bit of overkill, but if you've got a good atlas, yeah, that's awesome. A globe, which um, Mrs. Hutt tells us we're going to need for the house, and a map. So the world map is down at my house, but we, and we use that quite a bit. But we've got a map of Australia here, and that is so really good to have. So this is the whole school room. It's a great space. It's, um, I think, the biggest school room that I've ever worked in. Um, and it's, um, we've got, yeah, we've just got so much space to do stuff. But all of these things, you don't need to have lots of space to have a really good school room. Uh, if you have things like whiteboards, word walls, um, little things like those dice, that meter ruler, and a bookshelf, and somewhere efficient to keep your books. There's a lot of different ways of doing it. Um, some people have suggested having bags on the backs of chairs, which I think in a small school room is a brilliant idea. Um, and a desk. Those are the basics to for a really good school room.